Hi, this is Shiva from Durga Software Solutions. <coughs> so, in the present uh, video session, so the next topic I will discuss is operator overloading in C++. Operator overloading in C++. So, operator overloading uh, as we have discussed in the previous video sessions, it, uh, it is one kind of what? Static polymorphism. Static polymorphism. That means, uh, a single operator means it can be a arithmetical operator and uh, it can be a uh, whatever it may be comparison operator so whatever it may be so it can be used a single operator can be used for built-in types as well as user defined types means user defined types means classes for classes also we can use this our uh, these existing operators of c plus plus that means the process of using the existing operators of c plus plus for user defined data types is called what operator overloading concept normally suppose <coughs> when i say like this integer a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and say c now i can say like this c equal to a plus b means here what is plus operator so this is a mathematical operator so you are using this operator for predefined types so what are the predefined types here a b c so these three comes under which category integer category integer category now i cannot use this plus operator for user defined objects user defined classes or user defined data types let us say suppose <coughs> i have one class called test so uh, for test i am creating three objects t1 t2 t3 and t2 t1 t2 are having values from t1 t2 I will create T3. I can say T1, T3 equal to T1 plus T2. Now this is invalid as per our C++ terminology. But by using operator overloading, so we can make it possible. By using operator overloading, uh, overloading, uh, overloading concept, this I can make it possible. Means we are using this uh, arithmetical operator uh, called addition for user defined operator user defined data types so what are the user defined data types here t1 t2 t3 so these three types so these three variables are called as what objects so these three objects will be coming under which category test category so what is test here test is a class name test is a class name and what is what are these t1 t2 t3 so these are objects so these are, these are what objects that means using operator overloading in C++, I can use the existing operators of C++ for user-defined types. Means, already they are working for predefined operators. I am giving some extra load to the operators, uh, the, the, that kind of operators. So, that is why, so this concept is known as what? Operator. So, using this, uh, plus, using this uh, operator overloading facility, I can make it possible. T1, T, T3 equal to T1 plus T2, T1, T3 equal to T1 plus T2. Means, here T1, T2, T3 are objects. Test is class name. Test is class name. Okay. So, using this uh, operator overloading category, I can make it possible. So, how, but how it is uh, possible? By using a function called operator function. Function name is, function name itself is operator function. So, this function we are going to write as a member function of a class. As a member function of a class. So, within the class, we are going to implement this method. Okay. So, how to write the operator function? Just I will explain. So, the syntax of operator function is like this. Operator. Before this, before operator, we have to specify data types or data type also or return type. This is return type. return type the function name is operator operator next within brackets operator to be overloaded operator to be overloaded and arguments and within this body of the operator function body of the function operator function body of the operator function 
okay so this is return type and this operator is keyword keyword so these are the arguments which it is going to take arguments now this is the operator to be overloaded suppose i am uh, i am going to uh, overload plus plus or minus minus whatever it may be now here you can write this is operator to be overloaded operator to be overloaded operator to be overloaded okay you this is a syntax but how it is going to be executed so whenever a specific type that particular uh, operator is encountered by the compiler what happens immediately the compiler is going to call this operator function okay so it is going to call suppose uh, i may use t3 equal to t1 plus t1 plus t2 t1 plus t2 means it can be any operator plus operator plus uh, minus uh, plus plus operator okay so this is suppose okay let it be i may say like this t3 plus plus t3 plus plus and whenever this symbol is encountered by the compiler for user defined type automatically means internally it is going to call which one this function is going to be called okay so using that function so we are going to perform the relevant operation the relevant operation so that is called as body of the function okay so that is the relevant operation the relevant action we are going to write in the in the form of body of the function okay implementation part we are going to write like that okay so just i will write one uh, small application and operator overloading so the next thing is which operator can be overloaded in c++ so almost all operators can be overloaded and except scope resolution operator scope resolution operator and we cannot overload size of operator also so except these two so we can operate we can uh, overload any kind of operator size of operator and size uh, scope resolution operator so these two cannot be overloaded for user defined types so how to implement a program just a small program i will write and after that i will explain just to look at the small program class test within this in the private section i will declare one variable let us say the variable name is something like integer x so in the public section in the public section i will write the constructor without any parameter so it is default constructor so here i initialize this value to zero now i will write one more function that is for printing the object value void print print data see out like this okay don't close it now next uh, thing is just you implement operator function so how to implement operator function just you have a look operator here i want to uh, overload which one plus plus operator so it doesn't require any parameters so just uh, i will say what 
x plus plus why it is x plus plus i will explain Where after this write main function within main function just you declare one variable one object one object like t1 t1 so t1 initialize to zero automatically and t1 plus plus so when you say t1 plus plus like a normal operator the internal value means what is the internal value of t1 x will be incremented okay so whenever this operator will be executed encountered automatically the compiler is going to invoke this one when this is invoked so what happens here when we when this is encountered automatically the flow is shifted to this function this function so this function that means you are calling this function with along with t1 object you are calling with this function you are calling this operator for t1 object so what is the t1 value internally internally t1 value is what zero means t1 is created with x this t1 and this is x value is initialized to zero means the moment you create an object automatically zero is initialized automatically zero is initialized and when you say t1 plus plus when you say t1 plus plus what happens here actually x must be incremented so how to increment the x value so by calling this operator function just i am incrementing what x plus x plus plus means whose the x is that is it is a x of t1 object it is a x of t1 object as you are calling this function along with t1 so you are calling operator function for which one t1 object so directly it can access x value from t1 so what happens here x plus plus so when you print like this t1 dot print data t1 dot print data means it is going to print what initially the value is zero now it is going to print what it is going to print which one plus 1 zero plus 1 it is going to print 1 okay so the execution process i will show in the system just you have a look <coughs> class test i will declare private integer x test x equal to 0 void print data see out x equal to say operator function i am implementing operator which one plus plus it doesn't take any arguments next plus plus T1 plus plus T1 dot print data.
<coughs> so here I have defined a test class. So within test class, I have defined x. Within a parameter, within a default constructor, I am initializing x value to zero. Next, I am printing the value of x. So this is a function. So, which is going to increment x value by 1. So, when coming to main function, just you have a look. For test, I am creating one object called t1. So, in the next step, what I am doing here, t1 plus plus, like a uh, other operator, like integer floating point number, like built in type, uh, not like a normal variable. But when I increment, this object internally it should increment x for that i have to write the code and whenever this plus plus symbol encountered by compiler automatically the flow is shifted to this operator function so the operator function takes the operator to be overloaded within empty brackets i did not give within brackets i did not give any one so internally it will increment x plus plus whose x plus this is this is x plus x plus uh, x value of t1 object because you are calling this operator function for t1 object so it is going to get t1 object's x value so when you increment x value by 1 what happens here internally it will increment x value by 1 so initially that is 0 and by, by saying x plus so its value incremented by 1 so just you have a look output is x equal to 1 And when I say plus plus t1, here also we will be getting same output, x equal to 2. So this is what a unary operator overloading. <coughs> unary operator, unary plus plus operator. Just uh, I will write a comment over here. overloading plus plus unary operator unary operator so in the same way you can use minus minus also
ओवरलोडिंग माइनस माइनस ऑपरेटर सो ये यू हैव टू क्लियरली स्पेसिफाई विच ऑपरेटर ओवर ओवरलोडिंग दैट इज वाई ऑपरेटर मस्ट फॉलो द ऑपरेटर टू बी ओवरलोडेड ये आई कैन से वॉट टी वन माइनस 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 This is x minus minus zero minus one minus one. So in the same way, we can overload binary plus operator also. Binary plus operator, binary minus operator. Binary operator means like this. And two sides, LHS, RHS of the operator, two objects are there like this. A equal to B plus C. So this is a binary operator. So this this side and this side, both sides they are having operands. Okay. So if a operator is having operands both sides, that is called as binary operator. Okay. So previously we have overloaded what unary operator, unary plus plus, unary minus minus. Now I will show how to overload. Uh, plus binary plus operator <coughs> next one uh, overloading overloading binary operator binary plus operator binary plus operator so how to overload it just uh, let me write the program first after that i will explain i will take a class like in last example class test within this i will declare private section where i will declare one variable called x so in the public section i will initialize uh, x value test x equal to one, void, print data. Now this is going to print what? Current value of x. See out. X equal to x value. Now I will write operator function. Now this operator function is going to return. test kind of object test kind of object so say test operator so every binary operator will take arguments will take arguments but a unary operator does not take any arguments okay a unary operator does not take any argument whereas binary operator will take argument so in the operator function so for the operator function when you are when you are overloading a binary operator the operator function must take a argument but when you are overloading a unary operator the operator function does not take any argument why because you will be able to understand once you look at the program once you understand with this program test operator now this is going to take take what constant constant ampersand say t we we'll just you will create one temporary object of temp type test temp type okay so how to write the code i will show just two lines are two more lines are required i will write that after explaining main function void main within this i will create objects test 
टी वन टी टू एंड टी थ्री टी वन टी टू टी थ्री नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू हैव जीरो पैरामीटर जीरो सो अलॉंग विद दिस आई विल राइट वन मोर कंस्ट्रक्टर दैट इज गोइंग टू टेक वन इंटीजर आर्गुमेंट इंटीजर एक्स से दिस इज सपोज ये एक्स इक्वल टू ये here i will create parameters like this i will create objects sorry t test t1 t1 i am passing 10 t2 20 t3 without anything means t3 will be initialized to 0 now i will say t3 equal to t1 plus t2 t3 equal to t1 plus t2 T3 equal to T1 plus T2. Now, whenever the compiler encounters this plus symbol for user-defined objects called T1, T2, T3, so directly it is going to call a function like this. So this uh, is just like a call is made like this. T3 equal to T1 dot operator. T3 equal to T3 equal to T1 dot operator plus T2. This is exactly same as like this. The uh, statement will be substituted internally. T3 equal to T1 dot operator T2. T3 equal to T1 dot operator T2. Means what do you have to say here? T2 will be stored in which one? T variable. Now here into temp variable into temp object we have to combine. We have to add these two T and T1. So what do you have to say finally? Mm, temp dot x equal to what t dot t dot x plus which one this one how do I access this this is t one you are calling this so what do you have to say here x plus what t dot x X is equal to t dot temp dot x equal to x plus t dot x. So finally, what do you have to return here? Return temp like this. Now the value written by this operator function will be stored into t3. The value written by temp the value written by operator function what it is going to return it is returning what temp so temp so which category so temp is uh, temp is an object of which type here test type so internally temp is created uh, for t2 a temporary object called t2 t is created so why have i given this constant here so whenever you are transmitting this t2 so the t value must be stored into constant uh, object like ampersand c Means in the transition, transition will be, be changed. That is why I given what constant keyword. <coughs> so just you have a look here. Just uh, I will execute this program. Hash include I was stream dot h. Onu dot h class test in the private section. Just I will declare integer variable as x public default uh, use on default constructor that is initialized to zero. X equal to zero. And also take one parameter as constructor. Test int y. You are saying x equal to y. Void print data. Say C out x equal to 
x now write operator function test operator plus is our operator to be overloaded so it is taking constant ampersand t and define one uh, test object a temporary object of test type and what do you what do you have to say here temp dot x temp dot x equal to x plus what t dot x better you say t dot x say finally return what temp start writing main function main clr is here test t1 10 comma t2 20 t3 T3 equal to T1 plus T2. So you print the values T1 dot print data, T2 dot print data, T3 dot print data. So like this here, T3 equal to T1 plus T2. So this is exactly same as what? T3 equal to T1 dot operator, T1 dot operator T2. Now here the value of T2 will be stored in which one? This one, constant variable, like this here. So here this is what? Constant test type, ampersand T. So the value of T2 is stored in T variable. So t just like uh, this is a temporary variable you can take any variable like x x any variable name you can take here here I am taking capital T okay so here I am uh, creating one object for uh, test test temp here temp dot x equal to x which x here whose x so it is a x of which one t1 x so it is a x of t1 x because uh, we are calling operator function through t1 through t1 so so t1 x Temp dot x here a temp object is created like this. Temp object. Temp object is created. So in the temp object, temp dot x here, this is x value. Temp dot x equal to x plus whose x value? This is t1 x value. So what is the t1 x value? t1 x value is 10. t1 x value is 10. t1 x value is 10 because so you are passing what? T1, 10, T2, 20. So T1 is having 10 and T2 is having what? 20. This is 20. Now, so T2 is available in capital T and directly you can access X value over here. X value means X plus T1 X. T1 X, what is the T1 X here? 10 plus T dot x. What is T dot x here? What is T value? 
here the value of t2 is assigned as what capital d so here you can avail what 10 plus 20 that is stored in temp so one temporary object is created finally return temp what we are doing here return temp means the value of temp is stored in which one here t3 like this t3 so finally when i print t1 dot display t1 dot print data t2 dot t2 dot print data t3 dot print data the output will be shown like this see t1 is 10 t2 is 20 t3 is what 10 plus 20 30 like this we can uh, apply binary operator for user defined data types okay you, this is regarding operator overloading for binary operations binary operators output once again i will show t1 x equal to 10 that x equal first x equal to 10 that is that is t1 x second one t2 x third one is t3 x so this uh, t2 value it is stored in which one directly capital d so capital d this is a reference this becomes alias alias reference for t2 now t2 can be accessed by using t means here test to temp temp dot x equal to x plus t dot x so one temporary object I have created this is especially for t3 this is for storing t3 value so, t, uh, temp dot x equal to x x means whose x here again once again I will explain this t1 x because already I wrote what t3 equal to t1 dot operator so t1 dot operator means operator function is called for t1 object means here x means what this is t1 x t1 x plus t2 x t1 x plus t2 x will be stored in temp dot x so finally temp is written so the temp value is written to which one t3 value t3 object so directly we are printing what t1 dot print data t2 dot print data t3 dot print data okay it is exactly same as what just i will write a comment here t3 equal to t1 dot operator of t2 and whenever this symbol is called automatically operator function is called operator is a member function of test class like this operator overloading is occurred in case of binary operators okay